Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog wheelsandhomestead.com and today I want to show you how to use a Moby Fit Hybrid Carrier. This is kind of a variation between a wrap and a regular carrier that's a little bit more structured. It also has some rings, so in that way it's similar to a ring sling. It's just kind of like a cool hybrid, kind of a combination of a few different kinds of carriers. It's actually nice and convenient because it's more like a shirt that you just slip on and you can put your baby in it. And in that way, it's really nice for people who are maybe a little bit confused by wrapping a wrap and doing all the different ties and folds and all that different stuff. So if you're intimidated by something like that or you just can't figure it out, it just seems really confusing, this is a good way to start because it's similar so you at least get the idea down, but it can be easier to figure out. This video is not sponsored by Moby even though they did send me this for an Instagram collaboration, but I just wanted to show you guys how to use this because I actually noticed that there are like four videos on how to use this on YouTube. So I find that there's not a ton of information out there on this and it can seem a little bit confusing if you don't know what you're trying to do. Once you get some instructions and you start working on it, it will be really simple and you'll get the hang of it, but hopefully this is helpful and let's get right into this. So this is a two-piece carrier. This is just like a long piece of fabric, not nearly as long as a wrap by any means, but this is something we will need at the end. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. And this is the main carrier. So you can see this part right here is the part that's going to go over your back. And then these pieces go on your front. These go over your shoulders and then they cross in the front. And then on the back here, you can see it has some rings. So in this way, it's kind of similar to a ring sling. This is what helps you tighten the parts that cross across the baby's back. That's what tightens it. So I'm actually going to take these out of the rings just so I can show you how to put them in. This would normally come with those already threaded, but just in case it doesn't, and in case you take them out at some point, it's handy to know how you're supposed to do it. So now they're out, and you've got your rings, you got the part that goes on your back right here, and then you have two long pieces of fabric right here and here. You want to keep in mind that you want this tag facing out. You want it facing out on your back. So what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to take the fabric from this side and you're going to cross it over to this side and you're going to put this in the ring. And same thing with this side. You would cross this side over and put it in this ring because you want them to cross in your front. So I'm going to start with this side. I'm going to take this around. So you can see the tag is back here. I'm just going to pretend that I'm in here. I'm going to cross this what would be over my shoulder and around my front to this side of the rings, just right here. And you want to make sure that it stays nice and flat. You don't want there to be any folds or anything. So I'm just keeping an eye on this as I put it in. You're just going to put it straight through the two rings. And then before I put it back through the other ring, I'm just going to check this and make sure that it's nice and flat. So I'm just going along this outer edge and making sure it's flat along there. And that looks really good. So now I'm going to open up these rings, just like this, and put it through that first ring. There we go, just like that. And then I do just go through this and make sure it's laying nice and flat. I kind of pull it out a little bit. I hold on to the rings with this, this finger because they can fall down. And then I just kind of go along there and make sure that's nice and even, and then I'll pull it through. Just like that. This makes it a lot easier to pull through because if there's, if it's folded in these rings weird, it won't pull through properly. Now I only do this for the first time I'm putting it on. After this, I won't really mess with it unless it gets really bad, but this is just for putting it on. So you can see those are all nice and even. The folds are kind of all an equal size. The edges are on the edge where they're supposed to be. So that looks really good. And you can see when you pull on this, the rings hold it nice and sturdy. So that is what we're looking for. So now we're gonna do the other side. You can see that one is crossed to this side. So we're gonna grab this opposite one. So you make sure I get that outside edge. And then I'm gonna bring it around to this other ring. So it's crossed in the front now. So again, I'm gonna put it through here. I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna find it on this other side and make sure again that it's laying flat. Find this edge, follow it along, and that one looks like it's flipped, so it's a good thing I checked that. There we go, now it's flat, and now I'll put it through that first ring again. 
This can seem a little bit confusing when you're first doing this, but honestly, this is something I only had to do once at the beginning, and then I've used this for a while, and I haven't had to do it again, just for this video. So once you get it in, it, it shouldn't need to be taken in and out every time again. Just make sure those folds are nice and even. That looks good. Okay, so now the rings are threaded, so that's all good. Okay, so now I'm holding this upside down. You can see this is the back part and it, it's upside down right now. But I'm gonna find these rings and I'm actually going to put my arms through right here and put the rings on top of my shoulders. And then here's the part that's going on my back. So I basically have it on backwards. But I find doing it this way is a lot simpler than trying to find the bottom and then trying to like make sure that I'm going through the right spot. And, you can find the top like this and go through like this. I just think this way, it just makes a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna put these on my shoulders again, and then I'm gonna find the place my head will go through. So you can see my shoulder, these will go on my shoulders, my head will go through here, and then I'm just gonna gather this up and put my head through it. Just like that. Okay, now it's on properly. You can see where that part goes over my back. I'm going to just make sure these are kind of stretched over my shoulders. That's just gonna make it more comfortable if you're wearing it for a long time. You don't want it all bunched up like right next to your neck because that will make your neck and your back so sore if you wear this for an extended period of time. Okay, so now this is on and now we're going to kind of adjust this somewhat for our baby. So you can see there's a pretty big. This one's obviously a lot bigger than this one. So how you would adjust this is you find your ring back here and you just pull it through. So it's this similar with the ring sling where you're gonna pull it along where it came from. So the top, I'm pulling it this way. And the bottom, you pull it where it's coming from the bottom, so a little more down. So I'm just gonna tighten those. And if you go too far, which I just did, you can pull on this ring that's on top and just loosen it a little bit. There we go, that one feels good. I'm gonna tighten this one a little bit. And that feels pretty good. You can always tighten it more after you put your baby in there. You just want to get it to the general size of your baby. So I have a nine month old right now and that's normally what I get it to before I put him in there. So I'm actually going to go get it right now. My husband's watching him. Here's my son Demetrius. Dad. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty jabbery so we'll see how quiet he is during this. <laughs> so we want to put them through the, the piece that goes on the bottom. So you can see that this one is going right over top and this one goes underneath it. So we want to put them through this side first. So to do that, I'm actually going to put him over the opposite shoulder, just like I'm burping him. And then I'm gonna hold this foot with this hand and stretch this fabric open with the other hand and put his foot through it. I can put his hand kind of through because we want it over his shoulder and I'm gonna stretch it over his butt, over his shoulder. Yeah, I know, body. And we're kind of gonna stretch it from knee to knee this and then I'm gonna do this other side same way make sure it stays somewhat stretched over my shoulder <laughs> hey buddy there we go just like that you could use a little bit of tightening I feel like so I'm actually gonna hold him up with this other hand while I tighten it because if you just let all of their weight hang in it it's not gonna tighten very well at all but if you hold them up further than you want them to end up it'll make it a lot easier so just, what do you have in your mouth? What did your daddy give you? <laughs> okay. So that feels pretty good. And his knees are in a nice M-shaped position already. And we're gonna get this piece of fabric that we set aside at the beginning. And with carriers like this, you want three layers of protection. So we have this layer going underneath, this layer going on top, and then we're gonna put this layer over top of that. That's kind of the general rule with these kind of carriers because you want three layers of protection over their back and their butt. So you just take and find the tag. You can see there's another tag on the bottom, but I put that down. And then I put this along his back, just like this. And then I'm gonna bring it around to the back and I'm gonna tie it. Just like that. So now he has plenty of protection. 
and he's nice and secure in there. And then there's a few things that you want to keep in mind once they're in. A few just safety things is that again you want their knees in that M-shaped position so you can always pull the fabric a little further over and it helps keep his knees up. But you want it to go from the heels to the knees to the butt. M-shaped position is going to help them not get any weird things like hip dysplasia, it's going to be comfortable on their back and their legs, it's just really important for any kind of baby carriers. You also want to make sure they're close enough to kiss. You don't want them to be falling way down in there where you can't make sure that they're breathing properly or anything, it's just going to make it more likely that they'll suffocate on the fabric, so you want them nice and up, up here by you. You want to make sure you can always see their airway. Oh my gosh, she's trying to bite me. What are you doing? <laughs> so I can, I can see his nose and his mouth. Even if he falls asleep and I tuck him in one side, I can still see his nose and mouth. And that's another thing you want to keep in mind, is that when they take a nap, you want to, for different naps, alternate. So if I had him in this side for this nap, I would put him in this side for the other nap so that he was facing the other way. So that his neck doesn't always get used to facing one direction. It's just something to keep in mind for preventing chiropractic problems. So even when his head was in there like that, I can still see his nose and mouth. So he's nice and safe. Also, depending on your size, these might be a little long, so if you're if they're too long for you, you can always like bring them around and put them underneath your baby's feet, and you can tie them in the front. For me, it doesn't really bother me because they're not like crazy long. I'm not like stepping on them because I'm really tall, and they also kind of hang to the side and back, so they really don't bother me. But yeah, that is how you put your baby in this carrier. But let me show you real quick how to take them out. So you're gonna. You're basically just going to reverse the steps to put them in. So I'm gonna come back here and untie this. And then you just take this off, set it aside again. And then while I hold him up with one hand, I'm gonna take these off of his bottom. Just like that. So he's always being supported at all times while I take this off. And then I can just lift him out like that. So now he's out, just like that. I'm just gonna lay him here on the bed. And then I'm just gonna bring my arms out like this and take it off my head. So that is how you use the Moby Fit Hybrid Carrier. And I'll be sure to link where you can buy this on Moby's website and also on Amazon. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I wanted to mention also that I have a very large baby wearing playlist here on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing more baby wearing videos, I will link that playlist below. It has like almost 20 videos at this point and I am still working on it, which is super fun because I love baby wearing. So if you wanted to know about any other kinds of wraps or carriers or slings, there is a lot of information in that playlist, so make sure to go check that out. But thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!